Hi, my name is Tui Vo, and I'm going to be talking about empagliflozin, brand name is Jardians. So a bit of introduction on Jardians. It is a SGLT2 inhibitor. There are desirable side effects for type 2 diabetes patients, such as weight loss and reduction in major cardiovascular events and mortality. It is indicated for type 2 diabetes patients as an adjunct to diet and exercise to improve glycemic control and also a risk and reduction of cardiovascular mortality in patients with type 2 diabetes and it also decreases A1C by 0.7 to 1%. So patient counseling on Jardians includes you want to take this medication in the morning. Yeast infections of the penis or vagina can occur while taking this medication. Tell your doctor if you develop any odor or discharge, uh, itchiness or pain in the genital area. This medication can cause increased urination and dehydration, which is a loss of too much body water, resulting in dizziness, lightheadedness, weakness, fainting, and thirst. This can lead to sudden injury of the kidneys. Tell your doctor right away if you are sick and cannot eat or drink, or if you lose liquids due to vomiting, diarrhea, or being in the sun for too long. This medication can cause a serious condition called ketoacidosis, which can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you develop nausea, vomiting, tiredness, trouble breathing, or stomach pain. Infections of the urinary tract can occur while taking this medication. Tell your doctor if you have burning or pain when you urinate, a need to urinate frequently and urgently, having pain in the lower part of your stomach or blood in the urine, especially if you have a fever. So mechanism of action of Jardians is that it is expressed in proximal renal tubules. It is responsible for reabsorption of filtered glucose from tubular lumen. It inhibits SGLT2. Uh, these drugs reduce reabsorption of filtered glucose and lower renal threshold for glucose and this increases urinary glucose excretion and decreases plasma glucose concentrations. So dosing and adjustments for Jardians starts off at 10 mg daily in the morning. This can be increased to 25 mg daily and if patient has a EGFR less than 45 then this is not recommended for the patient. So warnings and side effects for Jardians include a black box warning for risks of leg and foot amputations. We need to evaluate the risk prior to treating the patient by looking at history of amputation, peripheral artery disease, peripheral neuropathy, and or diabetic foot ulcers. Other side effects include weight loss, hypoglycemia, increase of urination, increased thirst, and increase magnesium, phosphate, and potassium. Monitoring parameters for Jardians include renal function, blood glucose, A1C, LDL, blood pressure, and volume status.